Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I am the lead genius at Southshire BMW. Today we are going to be taking a look at our tire pressure system. This is especially um, in the iDrive 7 system. We've had a lot of customers come into the service department lately because they've switched their tires out, maybe from their winter to their summer, um, or we've had a lot of customers um, move away from the run flat tires. And what we've been noticing is the proper setting is not set up within the iDrive system for the tire, which means it's going to throw these codes. So under certain circumstances, the tire pressure monitor system is a sensitive one. So it is likely that when there is a change in temperature, you will notice that will pop up and it will, the pressure will have to be filled up again and everything will have to, you know, go through and be reset as you normally would from summer to fall and spring into summer and all of that. However, in these conditions, the tire pressure in the tire that you have is correct, but the car is saying it's wrong because it doesn't know that you have that particular tire on the car. That is a whole separate set of issues that is um, now popping up for, for customers. So let's go right in there and show you how to address this. The first thing we wanna do is go right to car, and then we wanna go to vehicle status, and then tire pressure monitor. So this is where we would go if we had any questions uh, regarding our tire pressure. So the very first thing that I see is that it is showing the uh, front recommended pressure is 34 and the rear recommended pressure is 42. So we can see that we are a little bit high in the front and we are just a little bit low in the back. However, the tires are green because it's saying that it is within the range that is acceptable. However, where we would need to go is the tire settings because we need to dig a little bit deeper so we understand that the car knows what tires we have actually running. So when I first got into this vehicle, it was set to summer tires, which is not correct. So I have all season run flat tires. They're 20 inches on this vehicle right now. So the first thing that you need to do is right under tire type, is you first need to select summer or winter. So if you, this should be done by your technician who is swapping your tires out or making any of those changes. But if it's not done and you're realizing that you're getting some warnings, this is where you need to go first. So please make sure you first select the right type of tire. And then once you do, we're gonna go right under your tires and select the size. So we can see the 19, 20, 21. These are all standard from the factory. And what I mean by that is in a, in a X5, you have 19, 20, 21 inch tires for this particular model. If I had an M Sport model X5 that I was sitting in, uh, 22 inches would also be shown. So this is really custom to what you could get from the factory. If you're driving on something other than what you would normally get from the factory, that is what the special authorization for is at the bottom. When you go into here, you'd have to actually put in the variables to un for the vehicle to understand and to calculate what is appropriate for the tire pressure there. So what I did today is I went, I had no, I have a 275, 45 R20s. I did have to go out and look at the sidewall of the tire to see if it was a 110H or 110V. So once I did confirm that, I tapped down onto 110H as I did here. And then what it asked me to do is to drive off because it needs to measure the tire pressure based off of understanding that new set of information. It's telling us uh, max speed and then we save the tire settings. So then everything is saved and we are good to go. So that is the process that would need to happen if you get your tires changed out. As you see right here, it says uh, to measure tire pressure, drive off because since we went in there and started to play with things again, it says, okay, it's time for us to actually start doing something uh, and recalculating the uh, tire pressure. So please keep in mind that that is what you need to do to kind of reset everything. The vehicle on its own should automatically begin to reset the tire pressure as it is. However, it's not going to know whether you have winter tires, summer tires, if they're 19, 20, 21 inches, 110H, 110V. So you have to go in there and, and put that information in so the vehicle understands exactly what you're driving on. 
and I hope that is helpful and it will help a lot of customers uh, prevent having those annoying uh, tire pressure monitor lights come on and um, be bothersome for you. So thank you for watching the video. Again, my name is Chris, the lead genius at South Shore BMW. Please subscribe to our YouTube content so you can always stay up to date with what we have going on. And um, thanks for watching.